I am from the Diné tribe, and my clans are the Bethlehem and Shlan, Torej Ini Bashishin, Tatnazatni Dasu Cherokee Ani Dashanala. That's how I identify myself as an indigenous Navajo woman. My culture is very important to me. I grew up in Ganado, Arizona, and rooted in our culture. So I grew up raising corn, uh, livestock, and in our traditional ceremonies. So when I was eight years old, uh, we had a cultural class in our school. And one of the visitors who came to taught at our class actually was um, showed us how to do beadwork. And that really stuck with me. I love the many colors they had, the endless possibility. Like for instance, all these colors are like sunset colors. So that's what really intrigued me was the infinite possibilities of what you could create. So as a young eight-year-old girl, that was something I became passionate about. And I've been beading on and off ever since. In our Diné culture, we're very much storytellers. So I feel like my work tells stories and I can tell you about every single piece and what it represents and what it means. Abalone shell represents family. And in this pair of earrings I have, we have seven hearts represents the seven generations. So I feel like this is a more of a family matriarch generational earring. So I have the abalone shell, which means family and the heart, like your love for family. We have the white shell, which represents feminine energy. So white shells, mother of pearl, those always represent the female and turquoise is more represents the male in our, in our culture. So this is our seven, my seven generational earrings. As I bead and I create different types of jewelry, I actually put a lot of good thoughts and intentions. So I call it creating with hajon, and hajon in our culture means beauty and balance. So when I'm creating something, I'm keeping that hajon, thinking those good thoughts for that person that's gonna be wearing them. My experience here at Great Hearts has been amazing. So I was nervous coming in, but after the new faculty orientation, I felt more seated. And as the school year started, I feel like I grew a lot more as a teacher. Hajo means is to surround yourself in beauty. And when I learned about Great Hearts, that, that was one of our main pillars that we stand on, I was all for it. Every school should lead with truth, goodness, and beauty. And when I saw those pillars and I saw that it, I, I could relate it back to Hajon, I feel like that's where, this is where I belong, basically. 